The worrying times facing Welsh farming in its bid to produce food of the highest quality were highlighted at the Farmers' Union of Wales Farmhouse Breakfast at the Senneth in Cardiff. FUW President Emir Jones said one of the major issues facing the industry was the current review of the Common Agricultural Policy and he outlined the future need for farmers to produce more food. It's quite a worrying times really for the industry at the moment. Uh, CAP is one of the big issues and uh, we hope together we can succeed in making sure that there is future for the farmers of Wales when the changes come with the CAP reform. Last week, or a fortnight ago now actually, I was in the, farming, uh, the Oxford Farming Conference and the message in the conference was for farmers to produce more food because the population, we all know that the, the figures, 7 billion uh, is the population of the world at the moment and by 2050 there will be 9.3 billion. Where are we going to have enough food for those 9.3 billion unless we are allowed to produce more food? We can do that, we can produce more and we also can look after the environment. We've, we've done that over the years in Wales, it's no problem at all. Now, uh, another interesting uh, factor which was discussed there uh, was research and development that we as an industry should be ready to invest in research and development. And uh, after I came home, I heard that the uh, Pulperian farm was going to be sold. And I thought that was a, a backward step because Pulperian has uh, played a fantastic part over the years. Going back to when I was very young, I used to go to Pulperian with, uh, with the release classes from, uh, from Marion Etcher and it was impressive to see what they were doing in Bulgaria and they've been a tremendous help for us in Wales to improve our farms and improve our stock so may Bulgaria continue and I hope that that is possible in the future. Another aspect in Wales which is so important is that we have healthy stock, healthy animals. Because without our animals, livestock farmers are worthless really. We can't do anything without our animals. So at the moment we are still waiting for an announcement from uh, Minister Mr John Griffiths. And we, I had a correspondence from him a few weeks ago and in the correspondence he said that he was going to do his utmost to eradicate bovine TB in Wales. That is what we want to hear, that's what we all want. So what we want in 2012, Mr Griffiths, is action and not words. 2012 is a leap here, let's make sure that the industry leaps forward in 2012 and we have a fantastic future for the farmers of Wales, we have a future for our family farms, we have a future for our young farmers so that we are able to keep them on the land and by doing that we'll keep our rural communities alive and that is so important. Deputy Minister for Agriculture, Food, Fisheries and European Programmes, Alan Davis, thinks Welsh food is well worth celebrating. It's important to celebrate the food that we produce in Wales, uh, you know, breakfast, lunch and dinner in fact, because you know, one of the great things about Wales is that we are able to produce world-class produce and world-class products. I think we've got to be very proud of that promote that and have confidence in that. You know, over the last decade we've seen enormous successes for Welsh agriculture. We've seen Welsh agriculture move forward um, from under the shadow of foot and mouth and BSE to establish what can be a world-beating industry.